going on, YouTube? It's your boy Major with Major Transport Services. So, uh, you know, I do what they call hot shot trucking, which is, as you can see, I got a half ton truck pulling the trailer. That's about seven foot by 20 foot, and uh, it's rated for about 7,000 pounds. The trailer itself weighs about 2,000, so I got about 5,000 pounds to work with. But I would only put about maybe 4,200 you know, 45 maybe at the most on on her back because you just get more issues faster like, you know, bearings and axles and leaf springs, all kind of stuff that happens. So you got to be careful trying to over max your load. You know, it's all about longevity in this business. But anyway, so today's video, I wanted to talk to you about uh, how, to, how to use a winch to get an in-op, an inoperable vehicle that don't run Onto your, onto your trailer by yourself, solo, dolo, with no help, just you and your winch, and I'm gonna show you how to do it because it, it took me a while to figure this out because um, no one really had a clear video on how to do it, and I finally figured it out. You needed what they call a snatch block, a snatch block pulley. But nevertheless, um, I installed this toolbox on here. That'll be a different video, but I cleaned it out today, made some space in it so I got plenty of space mounted my wheel uh, mount on today got that from AutoZone came in, I mean uh, from uh, Amazon came in to yesterday so this morning before I start messing with this winch I attached that what you see a number two and two that's four brackets that's holding on to a piece of metal that's uh, old metal there and I chose the one with the locking system so that way nobody can just walk off with it with these and you gotta work to get it but anyhow, so we have our winch right here. And this is a strong arm winch, winch with, the, with the release latch. Push that down and that lets you, that lets you fly the, uh, that lets you fly the winch out by your hand. You can pull it, right? But if you pull it back that way, it locks it. So now it's ready to be used with the switch, with the lever and an out lever. So basically, what we have going on is we have a basic jump box that I got from Granger. I got the positive and the negative hooked up to the winch. And here's the winch line. I got the pulley. Here's a snatch block, but it's a small pulley. And we'll talk about another one in a second. But as you can see, my winch line, it broke. It snapped right off because I didn't have the damn car in neutral. And when I pulled it on, it snapped. But nevertheless, this winch can hold 4,500 pounds. So, you know, for this trailer and the size and the weight the capacity is perfect. Because like I said, I'd never go over 4,500 anyway. So I can pull anything off within my limit on here. But what we got going on right here is we have what they call a V bridle. A V bridle, which you have your clusters on here. And they call these your clusters. You know, you got your, your baby J, that's your T hook. T hook and there's your your R hook right here. But these slots is what like a lot of tow tow truck guys use to get up underneath the car. Instead of latching onto the axles or latching onto the wheel, they usually go up underneath and there's what they call DOT slots. And there are two little holes under there where you can you can latch those that baby J under there and you can pull pull it onto your vehicle. So what we have here is a synthetic rope, which is just some ex excess slack. So we ain't talking about that, but just imagine if it was tight, right? And I have, I've created a lasso knot, which I double did a double lasso knot, just to, you know, just to hold it. But anyway, what we have going on here is this. So let me back up and show you real quick. So we have our V, our v bridle setup hooked up to the end of the winch when I repair it. And so what I'm gonna do is run the line out, hook underneath the DOT slot, pull the vehicle onto the trailer, right? And it's gonna rest right here. So here's the truck, it's resting. Imagine the truck resting and it's, it's attached underneath with the, with the v, v bridle setup, right? So then I put it in the park, you know, put the emergency brake down, then I strap all four wheels or two, two wheels, depending on the weight of the, the vehicle. Cause you don't have to have four straps on every vehicle. But nevertheless, you have it mounted, now you get on to your destination, right? You get there, and once you're done, and you're ready to take it off, this is the catch, this is what I didn't know. 
So what you're gonna do is, you're going to unhook the V bridle setup from the end of your, your, your uh, line, your rig line, your winch line, right? You're gonna unhook that. So when you unhook it, the car is still strapped down, it's still in park, it's still in emergency brake. But then what you do is you get this pulley that I bought from Amazon for about 40 bucks. It can hold up to like two and a half tons, right? So that's like over four, that's like four or five thousand some pounds. I don't know the math right off, but I know a ton is like 2,000. So it, it goes two and a half tons. So that's like 5,000. <clears> so anyway, which is perfect, like say for this, for this size uh, trailer. So what you do is you run this and you hook that underneath the truck. Imagine the truck is still there. I unhook the V bridles and now I'm running this pulley, I mean this uh, attachment hooking it underneath the DOT slot underneath the truck, right? Then I run its line, as you can see down here, to the end of the trailer. And in the end of the trailer, what I have is what I was talking about, a snatch block, a snatch block pulley. And you can see it goes 360 about, up, down, sideways, and it's huge. And it weighs about probably 20 good pounds, but it's pretty heavy and solid. This, it has a weight capacity of, I think, like five tons. But it, it's perfect, so you can hook it underneath here. I would bypass this light a little, uh, the LED light. So I, you run it under there, you run your winch line down, and run it through the pulley. Pull your access up, and there's your, well, there's your line that's running underneath the car. Like I say, one snatched underneath the car, and then the other line's running through the pulley, and here it is. And it's running up, up to the front, right? This is what's gonna latch on to the actual, boom, winch. Okay. So there you have it. You have the red pulley, I mean the red hook, hooked underneath the truck. Its line is running through the pulley that I showed you, coming back up and running into the winch, the end of the winch. Hook 